Yeah, so we're just gonna be shooting some beer in here tonight, bro. No way, in here? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll section because we have no idea how it actually turned out. We're just about to start. And it's gonna be awesome because we got these Pavo tubes recently. They're so sick and we're using them to light our room. You can see the red one over there, the orange one behind Nay. By the way, guys, this is Nay. He's our self-proclaimed creative director. Isn't that right, Nay? Of course it is. <laughs> okay, all right, well, do you have something you wanna to say to them? Uh, yeah, all the videos you guys see, you know, since I am the creative director, oh, yeah, most they definitely. are my ideas. Most definitely. And so if you guys have any thanks <laughs> or courtesy to give, it'd be to me, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> so thank you guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. Like and subscribe for creative filmmaking and things of that nature. And we're actually gonna jump right into catching this awesome B-roll, so let's go. Two, one, go. Oh, that turned out nice. Hey, let's do it again, let's do it again. I think that was it. You want to start long, and then when it comes up, it goes short like this. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like you're shaving off the tip. Three, two, one, go. Nice. One of the biggest reasons I actually wanted to do this particular B-roll video is because I wanted to practice shooting S-Log3, the color profile in this camera. That's actually a lot more useful because this is a 10-bit camera, so it can actually handle all the color dynamic range that comes with that picture profile. We wanted to test it in low light. And also because on the a7 III in this camera right here, it actually shoots in HLG3, or I tend to shoot it in HLG3, which is a lot easier of a profile to color grade. But you know, we gotta level up. We gotta get some practice on these higher end picture profiles. So, yeah. We're moving forward. Oh, that was sick though, dude. That looks sick, the reflection in the window. Fun fact guys, well a concept new era fun fact, Nay and I are family friends so he's been around the block with me and these swords also have been pretty historical to our lives. We had these swords in my particular family because my particular family, <laughs> like, in my family for over 20 years. <laughs> yeah just threaten our subscribers bro. <laughs> Subscriber else. <laughs> Actually, when we were both younger, we used to play with these swords and we could barely carry them because we were like, what, five or six or something? Yeah. Yeah, and we could barely carry these things and we would try to fight with them and uh, that's why they're a little banged up. You can actually probably see some of it. I don't know if this is too close to the camera's even focusing on it, but you can see like these little clinks and that's from us actually banging these swords on each other. That sounded really weird. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is when it comes to these kinds of sequences, it's very important that you guys actually plan things out. You could see my handy dandy notebook here. I tell this to Nay and them all the time when they're on shoots with me, but the most important gear in my camera bag is not the cameras, it's not the lens, it's actually this notebook right here. And that's because it has every single idea I ever carry and I plan out all my transitions and things of that nature for whatever sequence I'm doing right in here. Look, you guys can see, hopefully, like, all the notes that are in there, and it's kind of insane. So, take notes. That was perfect. One of the most awesome things about today's shoot is that for the first time on this channel, we are shooting a video with two cameras, one for BTS, 
one for the sequence, A7S3 is for the cinematic stuff, the A7 III, the one on the tripod is for the BTS and things of that nature. And the best, best part is we don't have to use this dang iPhone. I know I got an iPhone, my first iPhone, the iPhone 12 Pro, but that thing is absolute garbage when it comes to low light quality. So all you iPhone users out there, I'm sorry, Android and low light situations for me is still a lot better. Go for it. So what I'm gonna do for you guys now is actually leave two playlists right here to show you some more behind the scenes, some more camera tips and tricks so you can capture awesome B-roll like you saw in this video. All right, make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> or else. <laughs> There's no enthusiasm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next Wednesday or else. <laughs> <laughs> now my staff's not even working. <laughs>